What's up guys, this is Tweak Reviewer 18 and today I'm going to be showing you part 2 of the series on how to make your Mac look more like iOS 7. Now, the first part of the series, we talked about how to change your icons to make them look more like iOS 7 uh, using the icons by Stephen Ashby on iCreate Magazine. Uh, those are all, all the icons and the instructions on how to use them are all linked in my original video. Uh, so, today we're going to be talking about how to add the clock up here uh, to, your, uh, to your screen. And we're going to use a tool called Geek Tool. And so, Geek Tool will be in the comment section below. I'll have the link to that, along with the link to all the files you need. This is really simple. Basically, what is Geek Tool? Geek Tool allows you to add different tools onto your uh, desktop. Now, what kind of tools? Well, you can have just a general file. You can have an image, or if you know shell commands, you can have a shell image here, or you, you can have a shell file here. A lot of uh, shell commands include like monitoring the CPU usage on your computer, uh, monitoring battery life, or whatever. Uh, it's just for people that want a it, that really want to customize their uh, experience on Mac. So I'll set the link to that in the comment section below. Uh, basically, what I want you to do is under manage groups once you have the geek tool open click the plus sign and then add iOS 7 design you'll want a different design than the default desktop so that way you know the difference if I uncheck it you'll see that it disappears up there if I recheck it it automatically uh, puts it back up there uh, there's a lot more you can do with this but this is just a simple way this is just a simple thing you can do with it and it makes it look like iOS 7 Unfortunately, there's no way for it to have the two centered here without the zero in front. So, if you use a 12-hour time, you're going to need that. You're going to need to have the zero in front to have those two dots, because if you notice, they're not in the same uh, thing as, as this. So, anyways, back to how to do it. So, once you have iOS 7 design checked off, what you'll want to do is download the files that I had uh, that are at the bottom of that. So unzip it and then I have here I'll turn it off there we go I'll add iOS 7 clock check it off to make sure I can see everything and then I'll double click bottom dot dot GLET and then it'll ask do you want to add this geeklet press yes and it puts it in the exact spot that you need now I'm running at uh, 1280 by 800 uh, screens, so it may be a little bit different uh, pixel radius for you, but you can change that in the position right here. And then I'm going to get the top dot, yes. Then the time, yes. And then the date, and yes again. And as you can see, everything is how it's supposed to be. Now, it is also an iOS 7 clock. If I were to uncheck this, it goes away. You want to make sure that iOS 7 clock is highlighted in blue before you enter any of them in. Or b before you double click any of them. And it's just as simple as that. Uh, once you have that done, that, that that's literally all you need to do. And then Geeklet actually, or Geek Tool, sorry, has a, what looks like a command line prompt up here in the status bar. You can click on that. It says the default desktop, default group, and iOS 7 clock. You can turn whichever ones you want on and off. iOS 7 clock, let's say I want it off. There it goes, off. You don't even need to open Geek Tool to do it. Okay, and uh, that about wraps it up for today. Uh, make sure to like this video uh, if you enjoyed it, so that way I know to make more of these. Uh, make sure to see my other video, part one of this series, to know how to change the icons to make them look more like iOS 7 icons like this. Uh, and if you like my videos, make sure to subscribe and tell your friends. Okay, see you next time. Bye.